Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, and advice. And I want to continue uh, talking about uh, Rabbi uh, Yaakov Yitzhak of Lublin, the seer of Lublin, the Chose of Lublin. And um, it is said of Rabbi uh, Yaakov uh, Yitzhak that um, he could, whenever a new chosid came to him, that he instantly took the soul out of him, cleansed it of all stain and rust, and put it back into him, restoring it to the state that it was when he was born. It is also said that the, that the, the Rabbi of Lublin once said, he says, people come to me weighed down with melancholy, with sadness, with ennui, but when they leave, their spirit is lighter. And although I myself, and it was at this point that he was going to say, I myself am melancholy, he paused, he stopped himself, and he continued, I myself am dark and do not shine. Um, there was a point where uh, Rabbi Yaakov uh, Yitzhak um, very confidently, confidently expected um, salvation to come, the Moshiach to come that very year. When the year was over, he said to his, uh, his chassidim, the ordinary people, the rank and file of people, either have turned completely to the Creator, or can, at any rate, do so. They have the ability to do complete and total tshuva, tshuva shlema, complete tshuva. They don't present the obstacle. They're not the problem. It is the superior people who constitute the hindrance, the people who think they are above everything, the people who think they are above the rest, who think themselves superior. Why? Because they cannot obtain humility. They cannot attain humility. And therefore, since they have no humility, they can't do a complete Tshuva. They cannot do a Tshuva Shlema. Um, I'm going to be doing more uh, videos about um, Rabbi uh, Yaakov Yitzhak, the seer of Lublin, and other um, great figures of the early Hasidic period. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I'm hoping you're finding them uh, thought-provoking, inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.